Reproduction and Continuity of Species Reproduction Process It aims to secure the existence and continuity of living organism species and to prevent them from extinction. Man can't reproduce asexually because the offspring coming out through asexual reproduction are identical to the parent. While in humans, each and every individual has to be very special and different from others. Humans reproduce sexually by special systems called reproductive or genital systems. Male Genital System The human male genital system consists of the testis, vas deferens, the erythra passing through the penis in addition to associated glands. One. Testis. The testes are two glands, elliptical in shape, and their function is to produce sperm and the male hormone known as testosterone, responsible for the appearance of secondary sexual characters in males, known as signs of puberty. Signs of puberty in human male. Hair growth in certain areas of the body, as well as the mustache and beard. Harshness of voice, the growth and development of the genital organs, growth of bones, and enlargement of muscles. The testes are enclosed inside a sac, which is known as scrotum, outside the body, hanging between the thighs. Its function is to regulate and preserve the temperature of the testes two degrees below the normal temperature of the inside of the body which is the optimum temperature for the growth and development of sperm. 2. Vas deferens Attached to each testicle is a group of fine, highly looped tubes known as the epididymis, where the sperms continue the final stages of growth and development and storage. The epididymis continues in the form of a long, single tube known as the vas deferens, this tube helps transfer the sperm from the testes to the urethra. 3. Associated glands A. Seminal vesicles B. Prostate gland C. Coper's gland The secretions of these glands go with the sperm to form an alkaline fluid known as the seminal fluid. This fluid helps in neutralizing the acidity of the urethra so that the sperm don't die during passing through it. It also contains a lot of nutrients that help nourish the sperms and keep them alive and facilitates their flow. 4. The penis. It's an organ composed of a sponge-like tissue. The urethra passes through it and it ends by urinary genital opening through which the semen goes out as well as urine, but never at the same time. Female Genital System The genital system in females differs from that in the males in many aspects, mostly in being adapted to carry the embryo during the period of pregnancy. The human female genital system consists of two ovaries fallopian tubes, the uterus, and the vagina. 1. Ovaries They are two glands having the size of a peeled almond, and they lie inside the body in the lower part of the abdominal cavity from the back. Function of Ovaries 1. Production of ova, where each ovary releases one ripe ovum every 28 days. 2. Production of female sex hormones A. Estrogen, which is responsible for the appearance of secondary sex characteristics in females. B. Progesterone, 
which is responsible for the occurrence and continuity of pregnancy. Signs of puberty in females The growth of armpit and pubic hair, softness of voice, growth and development of breasts, fat accumulation in certain parts of the body, start of menstrual cycle which takes part every 28 days as long as no pregnancy occurs. Menstrual cycle starts at the age of 11 to 14 years of age and stops at the age of menopause 45 to 55 years. 2. Fallopian tube each starts with a funnel-shaped opening with finger-like processes and ended by joining the uterus at its upper corners. These tubes are adapted to receive the ovum and deliver it to the uterus. This is aided by the contractions and relaxations of the muscles present in the wall of the tubes as well as the movement of the lining cilia. 3. Uterus the uterus lies in the pelvic cavity between the urinary bladder and the rectum. It's a pear-shaped hollow organ with a muscular wall that can expand during the stages of fetal growth during pregnancy. The uterus is lined by a mucous membrane rich in blood capillaries to form the placenta responsible for nourishment of the embryo during pregnancy by the umbilical cord. 4. Vagina. The vagina extends from the uterus and ends by the external genital opening. It's a muscular tube that expands during labor to deliver the baby. Structure of ovum. The ovum is a static spherical cell. It's relatively large in size, the size of a sesame seed, due to storage of nutrient materials. It is composed of a nucleus which contains half of the genetic material for the species or chromosomes, the cytoplasm which stores food and nutrients. The cell is coated from the outside by an intact cell membrane. Structure of sperm. The sperm is composed of the head containing the other half of the genetic material chromosomes. The middle part or midpiece which contains mitochondria, responsible for energy production needed for the movement of the sperm. The tail is thin and long and is responsible for swimming and movement of the sperm to reach the ovum. Note, the sperm is considered very small compared to the ovum. Steps of Fertilization each of the nuclei of the ovum and the sperm contains only half the genetic material. During mating, the male secretes billions of sperms that move from the vagina to the uterus and then to fallopian tubes. On the other hand, the female produces only one ovum in the 14th day from the beginning of menstruation. The sperms rush towards the ovum at the beginning of fallopian tubes. The head of the sperm secretes a material that dissolves the wall of the ovum and facilitates its penetration. After the process of successful penetration, the ovum encloses itself by a membrane that prevents any other sperm from penetration. Sperm and ovum fuse together to form the fertilized ovum, or zygote, that contains a nucleus with 23 pairs of chromosomes. The zygote then transfers to the uterus and starts to divide several times to form a clump of cells that continue to grow and specialize into different types of tissue. The newborn baby will carry the genetic traits of his parents.